Welcome back, everybody, to the Kel and Rich Show. My name's Kel, and this is my fun-loving, amazing husband, Rich. Thanks, darling. <gasps> oh, I love Dream Theater. We have not been back to Dream Theater for a long time. And the last, I think the last one that we did was probably Train of Thought. We did the whole album in the car. Right, which was amazing. Yeah. And then we did um, Change of Seasons in the car. We did, and then we did some scenes from a memory uh, just on our way to the concert. Yes. Just to kind of tune us up for yeah. some, of the, some of the songs. So this one is In the Presence of Enemies from Systematic Chaos. This is the, off the ninth studio album, an album that I haven't heard. I've been holding off. There's a lot of music. When my, my roommate and best buddy Chris introduced me to Dream Theater, I went through probably, I did Images and Words first, then I went to Awake, and Which then I Which is what went, you did with me. You gave me Images and Words, and then you gave me Awake. Right. Well, no, 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 no. no, no. You know, I never brought, I, you have you still haven't been through Images the, and Words. The clouds, the little guy on the bite, on the unicycle. Yeah, dramatic turn There it is. That's the one. Yeah, that's Lost, Not Forgotten, and things right, like that. Where and I fell then, in love with Dream Theater yeah, and immediately. Then, yeah, and then. Um, and then Awake. And then awake and then that was pretty much where we stopped because yes. then I said well, okay let's get into some Floyd and then we went into a little Metallica and right, you know right, and then right. then time went on and we were listening to uh, dance music and disco and things like that we were just really just having fun we were then we were we making, we're making dinners and and we would put on some epic music she would show me some of her music she introduced me to Three Days Grace and a little bit of Portis Head and Massive well, Attack Massive Attack and so so we didn't have a huge amount of time because we were working so much. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise, in those days. <laughs> but this is, but Systematic Chaos is an album that I just didn't get into. I didn't get into Train, um, tra- uh, train of Thought. I, you're asking the wrong person. And then um, uh, Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence we right, listened which to. Was amazing. Also in the car, which was which is really wow. amazing. And that's an album that I had. It's all this been, great music. Then we listened to The Astonishing together. Went yes. to the we saw went it to the in show. The show. Yeah, that was great. I that mean, was you know, it's it was definitely a um, a jog to the to the right or to the left for Dream Theater, and I, I think they really showed what they can do in the the. the yeah. Imagery and the, the actual show, I think, is better than the album. But this album I is liked still the pretty story. interesting. The story is very cool. The story was amazing. Yeah. So this one is uh, clocks in somewhere around 26 minutes. So it's in two parts. Okay. And we're going to give a shout out at the beginning now. This is from Mike. Hi, okay? Mike. So Mike, I saw, I saw this from a while ago. This is from, oops. This was from back in June. Uh, 29th, 2019. So one of our first submissions, actually, Thanks on the request, the request engine. engine. I was saving this one until we had a little bit of time. We have some time tonight. Uh, from Montreal. Uh, bonjour, uh, mon ami. Uh, this song in two parts helped me go through a rough time. I just wanted to get rid of my principles because I thought it was just easier to give in than to fight. But now I'm back on track and proud that I stood to what I believe to be good and right. Normally I don't read these, but I wanted to just make sure when, when I saw, when I clicked on the link, 26 minutes was like, whoa, this better be something pretty special. So yeah. it didn't give away the style of the song or, you know, if it's heavy or light. I don't like if that if it's given away or we, like a great solo or anything like that. If I see that too early, it's like, oh man. I don't wanna... We also like to know the meaning for you. When you recommend a song to us, we want to know what its significance is in your life. Um... Because it's more than just you telling us to listen to something cool. We had there's an, a million cool songs. Yeah, absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with the cool factor. But when there's a meaning behind something for all of you, we we want to know if you want to share. Yeah, yeah. So, it's a lot of why we're doing this. Yeah. Is to, it, it's primarily the reason why we're doing this. We're not doing it's it for the money. The we're not why. doing it for the fame. Lord knows it's not for the fame. Um, it's well, yeah. it's like a job now. But it's it's a it's, it's a job a that job. that I never thought that I would have or appreciate uh, as much so thank you yeah. so we wanted to give a little bit of I wanted to give a little bit of an intro before we get into this song it deserves it mm-hmm. um, it's um, it's got to be great oh, you know sure it's just it it's 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 one of those it's a dream theater and mash up 20, 26 minutes to two parts so so here we go if you want to go to the version. website and use the request engine just quickly knr.wtf there's many things you can do on the site. We just posted a video about the site. If you are unsure, you can send us an email or put it in the chat and 
someone in the comments can help out if you know we just want to get right to it so absolutely we're just making the intro a little shorter yeah just click on so check out the sponsors in. okay check on the yeah, sponsors check out the sponsors yeah and that's how you can really support us the most sorry all right and them <laughs> and them all right i got the right mouse so we're doing something a little different um Actually, for this one, it's not. There's no lyric, so oh, let me okay. just uh, let me just put up the album cover, and we'll make ourselves a little bit bigger. I'm just getting comfortable because I think it's going to be a good fun ride. No video. No, there's no video. So okay. what I want to do is hmm, let's just do this, guys. This is just good. Let me put up the album cover um, just so you can see it. Give me a sec. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the live version. Oh. This is the live cool. version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I keep knocking the microphone with my knee. Okay, let me just get back. And I just have to adjust the screen. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Pre-production stuff. I forgot that this was live, actually. No problem. All right. Thanks for going to all the effort that Oops. you go to to make this happen. We're just going to zing around the screen for just a Whee! minute. Want to come for a ride? All right. We're going to be up here. That should get us out of the way. Okay. And here we go. Okay. So excited. In the Presence of Enemies, part one and two, live. Looks like July 2008. Could be the other way around. And it looks like it's... Um, from Chaos in Motion, maybe that, that's the tour. All right, here we go. Mark, Mike Portnoy on the drums. John Petrucci. Jordan on the keys, John Miang on the bass. bounce the stick on beat
Dream frickin' theater.
probably part two now. No? <laughs> There's Could, ants on the stage. Could be. That was awesome. There was ants on the video, and there's ants all over the stage. Nice. Big, huge ants. It's very cool. Oh my I will fight for you Dark Master of Sin Now my soul is yours Dark Master my God Oh yeah God Dark Master inside I cannot see his face but I could feel his spirit A presence found the day Abandoned by the night The shadow will consume you Through you This 
better and better. It's like the Slash song we just listened to. It's also a sample. Yes. Are you talking about the audience? Oh. I don't think it's the guys. Mike doing that. Yeah. Nice. And John. Uh, yes. Oh, what's that riff? They're the best. <laughs> they just they just won. Just me? No. Okay. I wasn't ready for this. That's okay.
I don't want this song to ever end. Ever. <laughs> it's like the it's like the fire log loop. Just, yeah, right. It just put it on and just let it roll. Listen to that fucking bass that he's jamming. like after you've won the gold medal in the Olympics and you're walking back to like your dressing room like back to your your villa you just like all that work
excellent. Kick yourselves. Good night. <laughs> God. Wow. Wow. I don't want to turn it off. Oh. That was pretty amazing. All right. It's been a night it's of obvious, amazing music, it's though. It's obvious that it's I... It's been an amazing day. It has I mean, been. really, when you think about we, it. We interviewed... Joel and Martin from the the, the co-founders of the band Sewin today this afternoon. And you guys, if you if you have watched their videos, you know that we have fallen in love with their music, and it's only been the most recent album, yeah. uh, Lotus, and we've only listened to one song off of uh, Lakea, and that's uh, Lucidity, and I've only heard two other songs, Sectarian and Savia. We spent over an oh hour God, with them they backstage so they sat down they, we, um, there's a split screen on skype. it yeah there's a, so skype so so you can't see joel like half of him and kel that gets cut off goes. i'm the only one that you can see fully that's okay but it's just the audio is good it, yeah the audio is good we, it freezes a couple times but that's kind of like how the day started and we just went through some amazing music tonight I was not ready for that, Kel. I was Why? not Why ready. Why? to be ready? Because, well, because I have an idea of what Dream Theater is, can be. That performance, besides the, who did the camera work? I mean, it's like, they had like four cameras going, but they were like, um, they were out of focus. There was like glare and stuff, and it looked like there was a film on it. Besides that, that was all-time favorite performance from Dream Theater for me. Well, the reason why is because the song starts hot and it just keeps going. And then I guess it's the two parts of, of uh, In the Presence of Enemies, which I would imagine they maybe only played one part because they can't always do both parts in a concert. That's like half the first set. So I'm, I'm blown away. What did you like specifically about that? You know, in terms of the, the music, because I'm not sure what the lyrics are really meaning at this point. I, I, I'm not there yet, but I got some of it. Um, I love the energy. Um, I love watching them have fun and I love watching them smile. I got to tell you, they're true masters of their craft, like so many other musicians that we've had the privilege of listening to since we started all this and heroes from the past and they're just they're just epically talented and when i listen to them i just i just think wow wow true masters at work and we're watching we're watching that mastery we watched slash and miles kennedy yeah with, with conspirators just do and i mean anastasia all you can what do is let heck? your mouth hang open for part of it and just be shocked and in true awe yeah i once um, met a woman long ago and it was completely unrelated to anything but i knew that as i stood beside her and spoke with her i knew that i was in the presence of greatness i could just tell by the way she was speaking the conversation the way it went it was a random meeting it had nothing to do with anything it was just two strangers having a conversation but i really felt that i was standing next to a great great woman and when i hear these bands all of them I am in the presence of greatness. Even though I am not with them physically, I am listening to greatness in action. All of them. Yeah. You don't get to be, at, I've said it before. Well, they're not, you, not, I wouldn't say all of them. Not all the bands. You're talking about the bands that okay, are the, the bands big that names. we're I mean, listening to. Yeah, the bands that we're I mean, listening to. Absolutely. We're not listening to. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're taking your suggestions and we're, we're vetting them. I feel that all the bands that we've listened to have been pretty fantastic yeah yeah where do you put that performance i can't for live i can't i can't I, I i i don't it's the dream i'm in currently in the dream theater spaceship and i'm enjoying the ride completely my mind is completely 100 percent focused on what is going on here and i am loving it and when we switch universes and we go somewhere else for a different ride I'm completely, and if I don't like it, I will say that I don't enjoy it. 
the drums. Some wow, of the he's best so I've seen. Fast. And he's so <laughs> random too. He's so random. Just and he's cheeky. <laughs> flipping the stick. And it's just his yeah. his fills, his space between the, the, the notes, the music is, is ridiculous. John on the bass, what he was doing in that song. Yeah. That was godlike. Petrucci, forget it. Like just pick a riff, pick Jordan. pick a and then and I then mean, and I, I I liked how Jordan didn't play over the music. He played with the music. Sometimes I th- I think he's he's showing off his chops, and and that's fine. But I think with this the this this uh, pairing of the of the songs, I think he just played with it. I think there was enough there that he didn't need to go off more. And uh, and and James is singing. I mean, it was just it was like top shelf for me. So that's when I say, how does it compare? There you is know? no comparison. I love it all. I, I can't. I don't have enough experience with all of them to make a comparison. Well, you, okay. okay. I um, love okay, it I'll, all. I'll, I'll, I'll I love compare. it all. You she, compare. She won't compare. I'm not going to. Yeah, I just say, okay, we've seen some live performances where the bass player was playing bass, and it was a great song. And then there was uh, the drums. The drums were going, and then the vocalist. I compare that performance for each of those performers and say, based on the song, how, how did they do? Their their showmanship. The, the, uh, were they moving around the stage? Were they? Does it sound like they were missing a lot of notes? Were they out of time? Was the was, had the sound engineers do? That's what I mean. Like, and I just think that each one of them on that performance was ten out of ten. That's all. That's all I'm saying, Cal. I love it all, and when I don't like it, I say so. And I'm not comparing because it it provokes different things in me different all the bands bring something else like i have not replicated the same feeling when you put um amorphous in front of me and then you put dream theater in front of me and then you put metallica and then you do iron maiden and then you do judas priest the, or who, just just make a list i mean it's all they're all wildly talented in my mind because I'm not as talented as they are. It's all magic what they're doing. I just I just think they're all great and when I don't like it, I say so. So how does it compare how does um not compare when in the interview today when Joel and Martin were basically saying, you know, there's there's music out there that that doesn't cut it. How does that how does that align with you? I'm not in a position to comment so for them, about this they, genre. So, so what you're they saying are is that we're sure saying they can say it, they've they earned it. They can say it, they've earned it. Okay, good. Because I want, just want to... You want to talk about massage therapy and you want to talk about exercise rehab? You want to talk about playing concert pianist classical music? You want to talk about orchestras? You want to talk about... We'll talk about what I'm proficient at. Want to talk about baking chocolate chip cookies and fudge cake? Yep. Now we got a conversation where I can make a comparison. So can I not by not being in those categories? Am I okay to say what I said about uh, about how about how their performance was ten out of ten for me? No, because I feel that you. So are, I can't. I can't no, say you that? can. Okay. I feel that you can say whatever you want, and that you are a connoisseur of dream theater. I'm just a dream theater baby. Oh, I see. I'm a I, new, because I'm a connoisseur of dream I'm theater. I'm just. A, gotcha. I'm just new in all of this. You have been listening to them. Well, again, not. The whole well, catalog. I mean, that was my first listen to that. You've been so. listen, How many years have you been listening to Dream Theater? Since uh, 89. How many years is that? 30 years. Okay, and how long have I been listening to Dream Theater? And, but remember, 30 years. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, two, two. You, and how many times have you listened to the albums? Well, of, uh, no, 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 <laughs> A lot of the same no, albums. No, no, no. How and many five times? five concerts, so. How many times have you re- hit the repeat button and listened to the whole thing? Do you on the memor- albums that I know? Yeah. Yeah. Lots. 50, 75. Right. Okay, so when I get to your level in 30 years and I have repeat all of these songs that we've reacted to I and gotcha. I am a, I'm proficient with it, maybe then I'll make a comparison. Until then, man, I'm on the ride. I'm in the front of the, of the go-kart. My horns are up and I am riding the ride wild. The Good. ride wild. The, I can't even talk. I need to the stop. The wild ride. So, cool, because I wanted to find out as we do this, is as we talk and we do our thing, because we, you know, we range all over. But um, I wanted to be clear on when I do want to compare, when I do want to rank, why it's okay for me to do it. But it's your process. Right, because I'm it's not... It's not part of my yeah, process. Yeah, and I'm not... Yeah, if, I, if, it was a, if it was a new band, I would 
also, though, say, like we made the mistake of commenting on, um, it was Neil Morse of performance by him, where it seemed oh, like he was yes. kind oh. of all over the place. Yeah. And, you know, we got, we got into, into shit for that because it's like, well, but that's our first you, reaction. Yes, yes. So I'm just going to be just careful to... Um, you're allowed to have your opinion, though. That's what this is I about. I do, but when I know that you're considering, well, you don't play drums. I, How can you say that he was off? You know, I want to just be careful that I'm not stepping on into, into, that, into, that, into that space. And it's not my intention to be... Um, playing like a charlatan like I know something that I don't mm, I hear you. it's just really important as we do this as, as we as we learn and grow on the, on the channel and what we're doing here for everybody because um, I'm trying to pick out epic legendary performances and really being able to spot them for you so I so based on what you just saw yeah ba I guess that's my question based on what you just saw as I sort through stuff and I think about what to show you was that one of the better live performances that you've seen? Of anybody? No. How does it... Because of the camera work. Oh, okay. okay. So when we are oh. comparing... Okay. How about the music, though? Music was great. Okay. Music was awesome. Uh, I agree about Jordan's keyboard sometimes, but he's, he's a master. <sighs> he's, a, he's a musical genius. He's going to show off and... That's part of the charm for me is seeing them all fly into action. I just appreciate the just the such tremendous skill that it requires to do this and to bring it all together and the composition and composition. imagine what it was like before all this technology. Yeah. When you I used to write music out by hand. Yeah, that would take a little while to do that one. You know what I loved also? I loved that they were singing. You know, that, yeah, that Mike that was and, fun. and John were singing. And yeah, Jordan was, was didn't even have a microphone, and he was just like this. You know, And yeah. then Portnoy would do the parts that the audience was doing when yeah. James wouldn't sing. And he's just like... You know, and, so and just fun. flipping the, that when he hit the stick and on rhythm and just boom. And that didn't wasn't like boom. It was boom, you know. Yeah, so, so cool. fun. So, so I fun. just I really want to find the gems for you. And baby, um, you always do, and all of you always do. And if yeah. it hurts my brain and it hurts my ears and it hurts my soul, I say something. <laughs> there have been a few songs that have really just been like, oh my god. And I don't want to listen to that another time. <laughs> she tells me she's like, that was good for the for the channel, but you don't have to have that on the playlist. You really don't. But even. Even songs that, um, you know, Five Finger Death Punch, okay, gets me every Ooh. time. And it's not Each that one. I don't want to listen to them again. I love them. Those songs are vitally important to our society. What Soen writes, the, when the topics are, are things we don't want to look at, it's all the more reason to look at them. Mm -hmm. And these bands, part of... What some of them are doing is they're doing all this on purpose. There's nothing that is happening by accident that they're putting forward to all of us. Everything's done explicitly. Oh, what we found out today with Joel and Martin is oh, that, wow. I mean, the process is gift. just, it's just so extensive. And, you know, it, I'm sure that's not the case with all bands and artists. Just they happen to have such a high standard that and they kind of brought us through that. And It was beautiful. Wow, so we'll get that to you. And by the way, people have asked, it's kind of oh. like going to ask Kellen Rich, what are you drinking? So oh, this is tea. Bengal Spice. And this right? is, um, well, with, this With was, nothing in it. Just It just sits and it's actually cold. This was water. And this is chamomile Can tea. Can you tell, we have a thing. I... I had a thing for Pepe Le Pew, and well, then I found I out that, that, she, that, that she did, too. So this one is kind of a funny saying. So. Yeah, it's very Kel fun. surprised me with that one that she has, and, and I had actually one that broke, and she replaced this for me. And that's just Penelope being completely taken by Pepe. More of a surprise, like, what the hell? <laughs> What's that smell? Ooh, that smell. Oh, Dun -dun 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 Can't you smell? All right, let's get out of here. That's the end of the night for you. us. I love you. I love you. Oh. 
Thanks for a fantastic day. Pretty pretty wicked. It was great. Thanks all right, we'll, we'll, for being here, for all your comments. We've got more coming on tomorrow. You bet. Wherever you are, have a good rest, good day, good morning, whatever's going on. Yeah. All right. We'll Take see care. you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.